Hi everyone, welcome to our 23rd tutorial on Erlang. Today we're going to talk about testing unit in Erlang using eUnit. eUnit is basically a testing framework within written in Erlang. Testing is a very good idea and it helps in reducing the amount of bugs we have in our application. And today I'm just going to give a brief overview and simple test cases on Erlang. So let's get started by going back to our factorial application and what we want to test is the factorial logic. We want to make sure everything works properly with our factorial function. So what we do now is to create an Erlang eUnit test file. So if you have IntelliJ we want to select eUnit tests and we're going to call our test factorial test. And in the factorial test module, we're going to have the module name which is factorial test. We're going to have to include a library called eUnit include eUnit HRL library and we're going to have a test function written here. So let's start with the first test. Our first function is going to be called first test. It's going to be called factorial test. All test functions must end with an underscore test. And the first test is we want to test if the factorial of 5 is correct. So what we want to do is question mark assert equals the result we expect to have for the factorial of 5 should be 120 and we have to call the factorial logic and factorial function. So we we'll call our factorial logic and we call the function factorial which te takes two arguments. The first argument will be the value which is going to be factorial of 5 and we want to also send in an accumulator which would be 1. But basically that's the general idea is to put your functions in the second argument area here and your other arguments if required. So that's going to be our first test. So it's going to return if this is true or not. Now let's test this by rebuilding the project and running it. So what we just have to call is the factorial test and we're going to call the test function, not the factorial test function but just a test function and we get test passed so let's do something else let's change this a little bit let's put 5 here so this should fail and let's run our test again and here we have factorial test test and we have here we have the factorial function that failed which is factorial test and also we have the error asset equal failed and we have the line number of the failed test which is line 8 as you can see here that's the, expe the expression we give that's what we expect to have and this is what we got we got 120 and we have failed 1, skipped 0 and passed 0. The second type of test we can do is eUnit test generators. The eUnit test generators basically generates definition of unit test. And an example would be let's say factorial factorial 2 underscore test underscore. Test generators must end with an underscore. And now let's generate 
list of tests to do so for example let's just copy and paste this here what we want now we have to include underscore here as well because we're using test generators so this is going to be the first test to generate and let's copy and paste a few more of this and so let's say 100 must be less than the result of this 200 must be greater than the result of this and another thing I want to do is if we go back to the first test the first test is just one single test and you can have multiple tests in that one single unit test so um, yes we can have let's just change I want this test this factorial test to fail so we're gonna have this here saved so now that we have this done as you can see this is one single test and the second function here is going to generate three more tests which is the first test here the second one and the third one now let's just rebuild all right I made a mistake here so assert can do assert equals or just assert here and okay let's try rebuilding again now let's run now let's run our test so factorial test and we have one failed test and three pass tests and this should this should be the three passed tests and this one should be the this function here should be the field test because this and this are all part of one single test and as you can see we know this is going to fail right here making this whole factory test a failure and if we go back to the error as you can see we have factorial test failed and we have line number nine which is this and the expected value is 120 um, hope you enjoyed today's short tutorial the next tutorial will be about sockets so we're gonna be moving now towards the web development using airline see you then